I am D.N. Miller on the advisory board of Advocate Web. Not only does Nobuko Oyabu's story show courage, it illustrates the importance of Advocate Web's presence and the power of networking. To capture the fuller story for Advocate Web, it is important to go back to the first involvement that Nobuko had with us. Back in 2000, when she wrote Kevin Gorley, asking if there was anyone in the Omaha area who might be there to support her. Kevin knew I was in Iowa, but didn't realize that I was just minutes away from Omaha. So when he put this request out to confer, I immediately responded. Within the hour, Nobuko and I were connected by telephone. Within two days, I was a guest in her apartment, only 20 minutes from my own house, where she spread before me a delightful Japanese meal that was a work of art. It was as if two long-lost friends had found one another, despite the painful and widely varied experiences that had brought us together. I think it is important to note that Nobuko was not a victim in any way of professional sexual abuse. She was a victim of violent rape by a former co-worker who broke into her apartment in the middle of the night yet she had already recognized professional sexual abuse, no matter what the age of victimization, to be a type of sexual violence. Over the delicious spread my hostess had prepared for me, we were soon sharing many interests that would have linked us, even without our past victimization. We both have a world view due to our international experience. We both are daughters of ministers and felt that this had instilled in each of us a strong passion from an early age to reach out to others beyond ourselves. And now we shared a specific passion to use our professional skills to reach out to victims of sexual violence or abuse, regardless of the form that the abuse had taken. We had some big differences that were significant back then. I was old enough to be Nobuko's mother. The fact that she had not yet been able to sit down with her own mother since the rape, due to the ocean that separated them, seemed to affect the emotional climate of our conversation. In fact, her mother did not know of her assault, even though the perpetrator had already been prosecuted. Our experiences stood in sharp contrast, showing that every story is unique. I had experienced a very limited amount of physical violence against my person compared to Nobuko. Most of my own victimization had come as severe emotional abuse that resulted in career loss due to my refusal to be silent in a case that involved adolescent victims. Yet what impressed me most about Nobuko's experience and her passion was that she had been able to achieve justice through the court systems in a brief time compared to most, with the support of an array of people to whom she reached out or who reached out to her as a result. Her story, which she tells in more detail than this article could do, of course, shows that community support without collusion can be achieved, even though it is still rare in cases of violent sexual assault. During our after-dinner conversation, the statement that stood out and continued to ring loudest in my ears was that Nobuko's desire to reach out was magnified because, as she said, I got justice, and now I want to do something to help give a sense of justice to others who have not. I was able to share the excitement of networking, having already seen the results of my reaching out through writing so that I could reflect the joy that was already showing in Nobuko's eyes as she imagined the unique project she was envisioning. How exciting it has been to see the balloons, as I call them, come back as the two of us continue to marvel at how our lives intertwined because of the presence of Advocate Webb. What a joy it was in the next few years to walk beside Nobuko and to see her flying off to meet people. Some people I knew only through email, with many others that she continued to find on her own. Then, to hear of her book being published, with some of the story of our meeting contained in it, 
in a language I cannot even read. And now, as she translates that book into English so that hopefully all of us can read it someday, Nobuko's success shows the power that comes when one person realizes that her experience isn't just about her. That's what allowed her to reach out to Advocate Web and in turn to go on networking and helping to tell other stories.